Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or what else you would like me to cover, please put into the comments. Today I am going to be covering AD authentication using SSL over port 636. Let's begin. First off, we have to configure SE Linux to allow LDAP queries to do that, let's do the following. Let's go to the CLI of our server and let's issue the command to see what SE Linux is allowing or restricting regarding LDAP. Currently, it is re restricting LDAP. To enable LDAP, we want to type set SE bool p HTTPD can connect LDAP on. Let's validate that that has happened, and it has. So LDAP is now allowed to connect over HTTP. Next, we need to edit our LDAP comp file. Now I'm on Rocky Linux 9.2 or 3, so you need to know how to do this in your respective Linux version. In here you'll see the existing examples and it's been commented out. Um, I have already configured mine, or sorry, I, let me paste it in here for you. And basically what we have here is we're saying, you know, this is my base DC for my domain. This is my LDAP server. Now let's save that. Oh, and I need to have the TLS underscore require cert set to allow. Now that that has been done, we need to actually go over to our server. Let's bring that over. So in our server, I'm already logged in. I want to go to authentication methods. I want to create a new authentication method. We're going to call this AD authentication. In here, I'm going to give it a description. I need to add my domain controller. Notice in the example, it's DC1. I'm just going to give it an IP address. It's a little bit easier for me in my case here with my sample, my test lab. Next, I need to provide the base DN. And in that case, this is my base DN of my server. Um, I need to give it the account suffix. This is what enables us, this is passed automatically by the user. I need to enable SSL and set it to true. I'll leave TLS as false. Next, I need to set the port that this server will use to communicate to my Windows server. And finally, I need to give it an account that can actually read my AD domain, and I need to give it a password or pass the password. Finally, in order to enable a user, right, I have to put up a, u a user who exists live already in uh, Active Directory. So I have my Tom Jones, and his actual username is Tom Jones. And I don't need to have the at the techguys.com, the techguysguide dot io because i added that suffix previously for the account next i need to give it an email now i don't have email enabled on this so it's going to give me an error message and i expect that but we we'll just hit cancel and the user will still populate i'll give the user a role of administrator or normal user so i'll just make him an admin now this is going to change here because i from password, I'm going to put it to AD because this password exists in Active Directory. I'm going to hit Add. There's the error. I'll hit Cancel, and we'll come back here, and you'll see 
the account has been created, its authentication method is Active Directory, it's allowed to all groups, and it's never been logged into this server. Now I'm going to go to Incognito. I'm going to go to the Tech Guys. As you can see, I'm at the login. I'm going to put in my T. Jones. I'm going to log in. If we did everything right here, it'll say AD login successful. And it looks like I'm logged in as an admin. And if I check my user account, it should say I am logged in. And I am. There you go. So that's pretty much it. There's not much left to configure on here. Uh, and well, there's nothing left to configure for this methodology. Um, as you can see, we're using AD. And I'll bring this up. This is my domain controller. This is my login information, and I'm using fully active directory. Well, I want to thank you for watching my video on AD authentication using SSL over port 636. And uh, as always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.